Hey kids, um, it is Wednesday, October 28th, and I'm doing a brief video with a couple examples of uh, to entertain and to persuade. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started on that. Here we go. Okay, so yesterday we did inform and explain, and now we are going to do to entertain. So in the notes in the previous video, we talked about this, and now we're going to do this example. All right. So retell one of your favorite memories. This is probably my favorite choice for students um, for their to entertain uh, article because these are all unique to you and I don't know this cool memory. And so um, it's one of those things where they're always really enjoyable to hear and read. Okay, so this I want you to think about what is the main idea and what is the text structure? How is it organized? One of my favorite memories was the time I went to New Zealand. The first city we traveled to was Rotorua. While we were there, we visited hot springs, went hiking, and tried something called Zorbing, which is essentially rolling down a hill in a giant hamster ball. Then we traveled to Taupo, a city a little further south. In Taupo, we went skydiving, one of the most thrilling things I've ever done in my life. Lastly, we stopped by Auckland, the capital of New Zealand. The culture and friendly people we encountered in a seemingly big city cannot be rivaled by those in the US. When I look back on my past, New Zealand stands out among all of my other memories. Our main idea is a favorite memory of the time I went to New Zealand. That's our topic sentence. And then there are your, um, this is describing three of the events that or three of the things that you did when you were in New Zealand. And then our uh, concluding sentence is, when I look back, New Zealand stands out among all my other memories. So you're restating your topic sentence in the concluding sentence. Now, our main idea, again, favorite memory was when I went to New Zealand. What is the text structure? Uh, even though there are no dates, you could say it is chronological because it's going in order of time where they went first, second, and third, but it could also just be description, describing the three places or three events during that memory, okay? And then we're going to do a to persuade example. This one already has the um, topic sentence, the details and the concluding sentence highlighted. But the topic is students should have, or, and main idea is students should have more than 20 minutes for lunch at school. The text structure is problem and solution. Students need more time to eat lunch at school, main idea, topic sentence. In previous school years, students had passing time before and after lunch. Even though students stay in the same room now for their lunch time, they now need to sanitize their hands and desks before and after they eat their lunch, which can take many minutes. Because there is no passing time, this must be done during the 20 minutes they have to eat, which means they have at most 15 minutes to eat, to chat with their friends and re relax. My solution is to give students five more minutes in their lunch period and take that five minutes out of study hall. This way, students will not have to rush through their lunch and can enjoy eating, talking with their classmates and taking a well-earned break. So here we have a problem. Students don't have enough time to eat lunch. Give three, um, in three reasons about that, like, Here's the problem, and then here are the two the solution that we have. And this solution includes that um, not only should they have more time, you could take that time from somewhere else. And then your last statement reiterates or says again your topic sentence or your main idea. All right. So those are our two examples we have. Um, remember to persuade, you can use an opinion, and you just want to back that up with evidence. All right. So again, reach out if you have any questions and. I'm really looking forward to starting to take a look at them because tomorrow we start our final draft. So tomorrow you'll start typing them in to a document that's on Google Classroom. And um, so I hope that you have your pre-writing worksheets either all the way done or as done as possible tomorrow when you begin your final draft. All right, talk to you later.